Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, I was reading about these batteries. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They have what's known as a solar cell. Yeah. Now, uh, sunlight produces electricity in solar cells. <laughs> the tiny cells below are used in the Telstar communication satellite. <laughs> Courtesy of the Bell Telephone Laboratories Incorporated. Oh, Ma Bell. Oh. Mm. Now, um, there is an, uh, a storage battery called the Edison type. Yes. And it's excellent for some purposes, being comparably light and strong. Mm. Now, its liquid contains a caustic, a caustic potash. Yeah. While its plates are of iron and of nickelic, uh, nick, nickelic oxide, <laughs> which changes to hydroxides as the cell is used and back again when it is, yeah, when it's charged, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now the Edison battery is lighter than other types. Its voltage is between one and one point three five. Oh. The great weight of all storage batteries in proportion to the amount of power generated somewhat limits their usefulness. <clears throat> but they are very much in use to start automobiles and to drive small electric trucks and warehouses. Oh. They also are used as uh, emergency power sources in hospitals <clears throat> and water pumping stations in case of power failure. <clears throat> now, uh, there's... There's what's known as a solar battery. Mm. It uses uh, cells with two electrodes. Mm -hmm. Now, one electrode has very few electrons, and the other has a great many. Yeah. Now, the energy of sunlight causes the extra electrons of one electrode yes, to go to the other electrode. <sighs> the solar battery changes sunlight to electrical energy. <laughs> One of its uses is to provide power for electronic circuits and artificial satellites. Mm. In one type of nuclear battery, the electrons give, given off by the radioactive materials such as strontium-90 oh, are caught and sent through a circuit. Another type uses the heat produced by changes in radioactive substances. Yes. You know, I designed a hot roof technology. Yes, mm-hmm. It's really uh, recycled garbage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I heat it up to maybe 2,500 degrees. Mm -hmm. And then I put a fine layer of desalinated salt on the top of it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Could use it for a roof. Mm. It's insulated. Yes. And then I I thought you could just put a uh, 110, uh, like a attic fan wire through it. Yes. Now this says in a solar battery it uses two electrodes. Yeah. One electrode has very few electrons. The other has a great many. Mm. Now, the energy of the sunlight causes the, electro, the extra electrons mm -hmm, of one electrode to go to the other electrode. Yeah. Now, this is a kind of solar battery yeah, mm -hmm, that changes sunlight to electrical energy. Mm. Now, I like the idea of changing sunlight to electrical energy, and I called it a hot roof technology. <laughs> Where there is energy in sunlight, yes. And then there's this process of salt being conductive to electricity. Yep. Now, I know you're sitting there today asking yourself, well, what are we going to do? <laughs> but if I thought about all the roofing that would be available to me that I could make out of recycled garbage, yeah. Then I looked at the sunlight and I said, well, this, yeah, mm-hmm. Uh, it could be that sun shines on top of the roof. Yep. Now, this high temperature desalinated salt that I get from all the desalinating of all the ocean water. Yeah. <laughs> could somebody put some of that? Just say you just, uh, you steamed up. Yes. Some garbage. Mm. Mm. You compressed it, <coughs> uh, maybe four to six inches in thickness. Yes. Testing the actual R value of it for the insulating factor of the homeowner. Yeah. And then we put uh, salt on the top of it. No. Mm -hmm. Put a wire through it. Ouch. From one side of the house to the other. The long direction, not the north to south, the east to west. Yeah. And then uh, we use a type of um, 
Well, it really magnifies the sun. It's like two times the magnification of sunlight. Oh. Uh, it's clear. It's made from garbage. Yes. And we put that on top of the salt. Yes. Now, in magnifying the sunlight, is it possible that the sunlight, the energy of sunlight, caused electric? Could you increase the energy of sunlight because of magnification mm -hmm. when going to the desalinated salt that is insulated because of the actual garbage that's used to make the roofing material? Mm. Now, I thought if you just had a small electrical current yes. that was running through the roofing that connected on one side to the other side, yes, kind of like one electrode and another electrode, it'd be like a, a large, a hot roof battery on top of your house. Yeah. Is it possible to harvest mm -hmm, the energy of the sunlight? Yes. Using simple magnification, desalinated salt, and uh, two electrodes. <laughs> Now, they say this battery uses two electrodes. One has very few electrons. Yeah. The other has a great many. Bark! Now, I'm thinking I might get into the roofing material business. <laughs> See, what I wanted to do is uh, I wanted to change all the pitched roofs on every house. Yes. And I wanted to make them all flat roofs. <laughs> now, let's say you got one of these pitched roofs. Yes. Because you got joists underneath of it and so on and so forth. Yeah. I said, well, let's take the whole roof off and all of the actual support. Yes. Make a flat roof, and you're like, well, what happens if it snows? Yeah. What if you ran electricity through the actual uh, wiring that harvests the sun during sun time? Yeah. Causing it to heat up to approximately, oh, 150 to 200 degrees. Shut up. Mm. It's insulated. <laughs> It melts the snow, and you recycle that to fresh water, goes right into your laundry room! <laughs>